my name is Jennifer Brewer and today is March the 20th 2015 and the skill I'll be performing is the central venous access and uh, dressing change so first I'm going to check the order and make sure that, um, that I do have an order to access the life board and then I'll use two patient identifiers to make sure that I have the correct patient uh, patient name patient account and then um, I'll gather all my needed supplies before I go into the room and um, I will ask the patient if they have any allergies to um, well the chlorhexidine because that's what you're going to use to clean it so they probably don't but I'll just make sure um, I've got my clean glove so I can assess the site in a minute and then I've got all my supplies I've got my dressing change tray bio patch saline alcohol um, my needle my uh, 10 cc syringe and then my huber needle so I'll perform hand hygiene and put my gloves on okay I'm going to assess the site make sure they say it's rare but sometimes the port can flip over so I'm going to check the port make sure I can you know feel it and um, I'll ask the patient does it hurt I'm looking for any redness edema swelling uh, drainage, any, any signs of infection, and then I'll explain to the patient that we have an order from the doctor to um, access the life port and that I'll be, you know, accessing it while I'm doing so. I'll have them turn their head. If they can tolerate it, I'm going to put a mask on them, and if not, I'll just tell them to keep their head turned. And at this point, everything looks good, so I'll take my gloves off. Um, I'm going to start putting my supplies in my kit. Open that up. out the mask of course the patient's head will be turned okay I'm gonna pinch my gloves out and over here supplies. Try to drop them in and not break sterility. If anything were to touch the side or that would be breaking sterility, I'd have to do another one. Start over. Okay, I'm going to clean the top of the bottle off now. the sides I'm going to turn it for 15 seconds with using my watch once I've got that if I had touched it anywhere I would have to start over you have to keep it as sterile as possible okay now I might perform hand hygiene one more time see on the safe side Gotta make sure I don't contaminate. Touch the outside of the cup. Hold my dominant hand. Make sure I don't touch my arm. Take these two fingers. Put it under the cup. Into my chlorhexidine. Okay, and make sure I have 
sorry, that's bugging me. Fox wings on that. Okay, I'm gonna clean from the nipple wound up to the collarbone. Nice wide area for 69 seconds using friction. I'm gonna allow that to dry. Once that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my heber needle. Reach in and get my 10 cc syringe. Get my needle. Normally you would draw up 10 cc's of air and then put it in, but these bottles have been reused, so they tend to go flying. So we'll see. Okay, we're going to have to pretend because it's not going to cooperate. Okay, we're going to pretend like it's got 10 in it because it's being ugly. Okay, done with that. If it had 10, I would make sure all the air bubbles were out. stick myself, drop it here, put that in the sharp spoon when I'm done. Now I'm going to reach in and get my Heber needle. It's not clamped. Take the clay off. Should be dry. Get all the air bubbles out. It's prime. Okay. Alright. Try not to break serenity. Make sure the last life support is on a 90 degree angle. Okay. Felt it hit the back. Alright. I didn't touch anything here, so I'm still sterile. I'm going to bio patch, blue side up. back to see if I've got uh, blood return. Try to make sure I don't get it in the clave. If I do, I'd have to replace it and then um, push all 10 in, push the flush in. And then I can clamp it at this point. Sealed all the way around. I can drop that. Okay, I'm gonna put the date and the time. Put the date and the time my initials on this. Put these on the side there. And then I'm going to document. At this point, I would either take this off and put the clave back on, or I would hook it up to the fluids if there were some orders. And then, <coughs> um, if it was just a dressing change, um, you would take the old one off with the 
uh, clean technique and then you would put the new one back on with the sterile, the new dressing back on with the sterile technique and then you would date it and put your initials and the time. You would also document what it looked like if there were any signs of infection before you accessed it, that you accessed it with a Huber needle, needle per doctor order and um, and patient whether he tolerated it well or whether there was any complications. That's it.